Hey YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and today I'm going to show you how to get the MAME emulator for your iPod Touch and iPhone Plus games. Now, the MAME is an arcade emulator, which uh, is a system that emulates old arcade games uh, such as pinball, asteroids, etc. So, we're going to have to get the emulator first, so we're going to go into the search, and in the search bar we're going to type in this, M-A-M-E. And that should all we need to be able to type. That should be all that we need to type. Alright. And we can click search. And the one we want to install is called MAME for iPhone from Zod TTD. And then you want to just click install, top right hand corner button. And then again, top right hand corner button again to confirm. Now that's the easy part. We can click the home button now. And we want to find the emulator wherever it was installed. Mine is on the last page, so if you go into the main emulator, you will not have any games. Uh, here's a loading screen right now, but uh, you will not have any games. I have one game because I've tested this out already, and that is a pinball action. And now I'm going to show you how to get those uh, ROMs on your iPod Touch. So we will need to go onto our computer for this. And once we're on our computer, you will need to go to the website that I've put in the video description. This is a MAME ROM website. Great. It's actually ROMworld.com. Uh, this link will be in the description. It has a lot of uh, MAME ROMs, and uh, you have a good category of them, starting with uh, the numbers all the way to Z. Uh, I'm going to click on A, but you can click on whatever you want. And I'm going to go for Asteroids Deluxe version, a game that I was looking at before. So we need to try to find that. And here we go. Asteroids Deluxe, Rev 1. So some of these will have more than one part. It'll say Rev 1, Rev 2, Rev 3, or uh, or uh, Rev 1, Rev 2, Rev 2, or it'll be like Set 1, Set 2, etc. So uh, we want to click on the first one first. And we need to download it. So we can just click on Download Now right here. And right away we can download it. We want to make sure we save the file and it needs to be a zip format file. I recommend saving it to the desktop because that's where I will be saving it. So we want to click OK. And it should download in no time. So we're already done. And close out. Go back again. And now we want to get the second part. Rev 2. So here it is. Asteroids Deluxe Rev 2. Click on it. And then we're going to click download now. And again save the file and it should be a zip file format. And you must save this to the same directory that you saved the first file. So again, I'm going to be saving it to the desktop. Click OK. And it's done again very quickly. Go back once more, and we're going to download the last part. So that's again um, Rev2. And we can click Download Now. And again, Save File, Zip Format, and the same directory that you saved the first two files. Click OK, and that's it, guys. Now we need to put those three files together to make one game. So here they are, one, two, and then the regular game. So this is like um, an add-on for this, and this is the second add-on for this, and that you need all three of them. So we're going to double-click on the first one, which is the actual game. It should not have a one or a two next to it, just regular. And you will need WinRAR for this, so you can go install that from uh, the internet. Go to Google and search in WinRAR. And then you want to open up the one that says da 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 1. So in this case, it's Asteroids Deluxe. So we have the first file open, uh, where it just says nothing in the actual name. And then we have uh, the add-on, which just says the name plus a number 1. We want to drag and drop all the files in this uh, second archive with the 1. We want to drag and drop all those files into the first archive, uh, that's the actual game. So drag and drop it into there, and we want to click OK. Copy. And now we can close the second archive, the one that has the add-on files, and now we want to open up the third archi uh, archive, which says Asteroids Deluxe 2. Double click on that, you will need WinRAR. And when it opens up, again we're going to copy all of these add-on files, and drag and drop it into the first archive which is the actual game. Click OK. And it's as easy as that, guys. You can close out of both archives now. So what we just did is we transferred all of the files in this archive and this archive, the Rev2 files, 
into the original game, which was Rev 1, Asteroids Deluxe. Now we can delete these uh, extra add-on archives because we've already transferred the files into the game. So we can delete those two. And we're left with asteroidsdeluxe.zip. No need to extract this uh, or anything like that. We can say we can keep it as a zip file. Now we're going to SSH into our device. I will be using WinSCP as always. And we're going to double click on the one we're using. And from this screen, we can go back once, and we're going to double click into mobile or mobile, and then we're going to double click into media, and then we're going to open up the folder that says ROMs, capital R-O-M, lowercase s. This folder is already created, to, created for us when we install any uh, emulator, including the MAME one. Open it up. And then we're going to open up the folder that says MAME, already created for us when we install the emulator. And then we're going to open up the folder that says ROMs in all lowercase. And as you can see, here is the pinball action file that I showed you at the very beginning. And all we need to do is drag and drop the zip file that we put all of the uh, files into, that archive. And all we have to do is drag and drop it into the ROMs folder. And we can click copy. And that's it, guys. Now we can close out of WinSCP and we're ready to go back to our iPod Touch or iPhone. All right, and we're back on our iPod. We can open up MAME for iPhone again. And here we should see the game that we just put into it, Asteroids Deluxe. We're just going to click on that. And then we can choose between portrait and landscape and whether we want sound or not. For now, I'm going to go for portrait and no sound since I don't have a speaker for this. And portrait is usually the way that you would play it. And now we're going to wait for MAME for iPhone to load up. Now, if you do not get to the screen where it says, otherwise type OK to continue, that means the game that you picked is not compatible. It's not my fault, it's not the video's fault, it's not the emulator's fault completely. It's just that the emulator can't handle uh, to be able to be compatible with over 2,000 of these arcade games. So if the game that you had said, like, file not found, error, you can't play, that means that the game you picked is not compatible, you'll need to go back uh, into the steps and pick another game and again repeat the process and try that game. I have found that the games with multiple sets and revs such as this one uh, where it has set 1, set 2, set 3, rev 1, rev 2, etc. I have found that those games are compatible, the ones that I've tested out. That just might be a coincidence but anyways just sharing my experience. But anyways if you do not get past the screen where it says um, loading the file games and you don't get to the screen where it says type OK to continue and it says error file not found and you need to pick a different game. But this game does work so to click uh, OK we just want to click both of the arrow buttons, the right and the left. Alright, and then it's going to uh, tell us to press any key to continue. I'll click X. And whenever we start out, it'll always uh, give us the game over screen first, and it'll say insert a credit. To insert credits, all we have to do is click the select button, and then we can click the start button. And then we can start playing. Uh, so, I know I'm so great at this game. Alright. Uh, but anyways, it's it's actually, it's not bad, it's pretty good uh, for how small the system is. Of course, it'll probably work a lot better on the iPod Touch 3rd generation and the iPhone 3GS, but right now, this is an untethered, and I don't want to deal with that, so I tried it out. It didn't work completely great, so I decided not to uh, bother with it and keep it on jailbroken till an untethered is released. And of course, the iPhone 3GS will work perfectly with this, it'll go nice and fast. Uh, so anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, make sure to rate it five stars and favorite also. Of course, comment below, share it with your friends, etc. And above all, please subscribe. That really helps. Uh, thank you guys for watching and doing those things, and I will see you guys later.